Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Now, this one is a part two of the continuation of where we left off. A quick review. There are seven dwarfs of uh, Algebra 1 all the way through trig. So quadratic fits somewhere in the middle. It's, it's relatively a, a young topic. Um, remember that picture we showed earlier, seven dwarfs, and quadratic fits here all the way to trig. And in between, there's logarithm and some conics and so on and so forth. Okay, so, and then the last tip we we'll quickly go through is say, saying that what's important for quadratic are three points, the roots and the vertex. And in order to find the roots, there are three methods, refactoring, quadratic, and completing squares, as much as people don't like completing squares. It is a viable method. Uh, we showed a quick example. I'll say, all right, so here is you have a quadratic by factoring. You're changing the adding into multiplication. And zeros love multiplication because you can chunk each one of them to be zero. And through that method, we found out where the roots are minus 2 and minus 3. In this clip of part 2, we're going to talk about the roots and how it's connected to vertex. Okay, so let's get back to our function, which is 2 times this whole thing, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so let's use method 2 to find our roots, which is quadratic equation. I used to have my student derive this equation, so I'm lucky that you know my student in don't have to derive this one. All right, so this big, long, messy, hairy equation, what you can do is solving for a is equal to 1 b equal to 5, and c equal to 6. Or some students say, wait a minute. If I multiply it through, doesn't that change the 12? Doesn't that change my coefficients then? a equal to 2, b equal to 10, and c equal to 12. Well, let's try both cases. And you can see very easily from there that both of them actually give you exactly the same thing. Okay, so let's try this one over here. So x1 and 2 is equal to minus b, which is minus 5, plus minus 25 minus 4 times 1 times 6 divided by 2. <clears throat> let's simplify a little bit, and you'll see this is minus 5 plus minus uh, radical of 1 over 2. So basically, you're going to have x1 equal to minus 5 minus 1 divided by 2, which is x1 equal to minus 3. That's 1. Or you can have x2 is equal to minus 5 plus 1 divided by 2. And you can see that x2 is equal to minus 2, just like what we solved before. So that's the answer that confirms what we had before. Now let's take a look at if you had a factor of 2 here. Um, the reason it's the same because the factor up and down is going to cancel it. But if you're not convinced, let's do a quick rerun. So b squared is 100 minus 4ac. And we have, um, uh, let's see, what do I have? 96, I think. Okay, 4 times that and times, uh, so it's 8, 96, all right, be 2 times 2. So you can see this one, x1 and 2, is equal to minus 5, or minus 10, minus, minus 10, plus minus 2, divided by 4. Okay, so here you have the same thing, x1 is equal to minus 3, and x2 is equal to minus 2. So they do give you exactly the same thing. Okay, so this quadratic equation method 2 finds exactly the same roots, no matter how you take a look at it, minus 2, minus 3, and off, oh, I did it again. Here are your two roots, OK? All right, in the next series, we're going to do is introducing the third method, which is to find this method called a completing square. A lot of students don't like that. But this completing square actually can, used, can be used both for finding roots and finding vertex. And that's what makes it so powerful. Uh, even though a lot of students don't like it, it's, it's um, I wouldn't say mandatory, but it's very important you learn how to do this one. All right, so we'll pick it up um, as we left off. And before we do that, let's have a math break. I love lighthouses. We went up and down the California Highway and visited a lot of lighthouses. All right, this is Dr. Pan from Tucson, Arizona making learning math fun and easy, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. 
on to our next clip. Have a confident day.